Hi again guys, um, this is the third tutorial in my podcasting series. Um, for those of you who want to set up your own podcast and get it into iTunes, the next one I want to tell you about is um, how to submit your podcast to the iTunes podcast system. So I'm putting this in here so you can see it. It's, I'm not searching it, but you're going to want to go to https colon forward slash forward slash itunespartner.apple.com forward slash podcasts. That brings you to this page that you see right here. So if you come in this page, you see it's create a podcast, feed and image requirements, podcast practices, test a podcast. All of that works because you did my last tutorial. If you didn't do my last tutorial, stop this tutorial, go find the feed burner tutorial that I just did for podcasting and using feed burner and it will manage your podcast so it looks really the right way and iTunes won't reject it. So if you haven't done that already, stop now. Go back and do feed burner and then come back to this. If you have done that and you're ready to go to submit a podcast, you can see right here, right on this front page, you can click submit a podcast. Inside of here, it's going to take you into this space. And so it says, after you successfully test and validate your podcast, use Podcast Connect to submit your podcast to Apple Podcasts. So click submit the new podcast page for this and it says click OK. You check your RSS to see if it passes. All of your stuff is correct. And then it says right here. And oh yeah, make sure that it's explicit if it is because they will get very, 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 very upset. So then you go, it says da-da-da, review status. And then it says Apple sends you an email to confirm your podcast, whatever. And then it says test a podcast. You can put your right here. Open iTunes, choose a file, subscribe to podcast, enter your RSS and URL in the box, click OK. If you can download it, it works. So you can test it that way, right? And then if you go to validate a podcast, you can validate it manually or validate your podcast through passing through a pass through URL. So that's that. And then submit a podcast. You go in here and look what it says. Click to add new podcast. Click to toggle between grid view and table view. Podcast was successfully submitted for approval. Now wait and review. Podcast is in Apple Podcasts. So there you go. You go back to your podcast connection and you can submit it. Right? Right here. So right here, um, you are actually going to need to log in and use a password with this, and you can get into that area. Let me show you right here. Let's go back. Here we go, main area. It's not let me go back. Let's go to podcasts, connect, iTunes. See if I can get in there. It's not let me click through, folks. So podcast connect right here. <clears throat> here it is. So I thought that automatically do it, but it didn't do it for me. So here we're gonna have to do this the hard way. I just put I search podcast connect iTunes and then it goes to podcastconnect.apple.com. Here we go. Then you can go in and sign in to an account. And at this point, when you sign in the account, all you have to do is there's a plus sign to the side. You click the plus sign and you add that to your podcast account. So I'm going to pause here and show you in just a second what that looks like. All right, so I had to pause for a second because I didn't want you to see my login to my account. So we've logged into the Podcast Connect on iTunes. And up at the top, you don't see it on mine because I'm down lower than my username. But it says My Podcasts. And right here, you got this little button here that's supposed to be a plus, but it's a square. At this point, all you have to do is click that plus, which turns into a square, and then copy paste the URL from where your podcast lives. So whatever your URL is, so I'm going to put in like dburner.google.com forward slash um, DHM daily broadcast. If this is my if this is my URL from um, that I got from actually uh, 
feed burner, this is what I put in here, right? So you put whatever your feed burner um, address is in this place, and then you click validate and then submit. Once you're done, it'll appear at the side and it'll let you see if it's up. So this one is active, so it's validated and come in. And these two didn't validate because those sites no longer list and they've been deleted. So all you have to do is then come in here and watch once it's done. And folks, I'm telling you, it's really that easy. It usually takes a little bit of time for them to validate a feed. It can take a couple weeks even, but uh, iTunes has gotten very good about getting much quicker about how quickly they validate feeds, and so sometimes it can be instantaneous. So with that said, if you haven't seen my other two tutorials and use SoundCloud, I show in my first tutorial how to, how to set SoundCloud up for podcasting so that when you upload a, a, an audio to SoundCloud, it's immediately podcasted. And if you haven't seen my second podcast, it's the one where I show you how to set up FeedBurner so that you can submit into iTunes. And then, of course, this one just teaches you how to submit to iTunes. With that said, I hope these have been helpful, and I look forward to hearing back from you guys. Keep subscribing to this channel, and let me know if there are other things you want me to share with you. This was from a request from another client I have, and so I thought I'd share it with everybody out there. So thank you to that client, and thank you for tuning in to Nerd Chic.